After 14 years and more than 3,000 episodes, the Jeremy Carroll Show has been dumped, and not before time. This toxic, bullying freak show was the human form of bear baiting which saw mentally and intellectually challenged people paraded across our TV screens as sport. The biggest tragedy here is that it's taken the death of Dad, Steve Diamond, who reportedly took his own life after appearing on the show, to end it. In a world that purports to care about mental health issues and hate crimes, why did the millions who watch this show every week feast on watching vulnerable, dysfunctional people being exploited and humiliated? How sick is it that we revel in the horrors of people's broken, sordid lives and call it entertainment? The Carol Show was cruel and exploitative, and TV bosses justified it by boasting about their fantastic aftercare. Aftercare that wouldn't be needed if Kyle hadn't dropped a bomb into people's lives and wrecked them. This show was out of control. Others still are, which is why it has to stop. Steve Diamond's death has to be the last in the name of ratings and money. Yes, uh, I, I, uh, I don't know about w whether I would, if I were the ITV boss, make a decision to cancel uh, the show, but as Majid sitting here in front of Carol, I certainly won't mourn the loss of the show, and mm. I think everything you said is accurate. Um, the only reason I say I don't know is I've never been in a position where you have to make those, those sorts of decisions. But, I mean, look, the way I look at this is uh, this show typifies um, this one and certain shows from the US, like Jerry, the Jerry Springer show, which I imagine this was modelled on. They typify for me uh, the kind of audience voyeurism <clears> of, <throat> of, of everyone, all of us, enjoying the spectacle of often some of the most uh, vulnerable communities mm, in our country. Exactly um, right. In this case, and invariably it has to be said it is the case, that these are white working class communities. And these shows perpetuate the stereotypes, the cliches, um, and all of the vulnerabilities that the middle classes like to sneer at when it comes to the working classes. And I think that actually uh, these shows are out of date. I, I think that's what I feel most about it. You know, I've worked around these shows. Um, I mean, I used to stand in for Tricia when she did mm. it. And, and I see what happens to the people, to the guests on the show. You know, on a show like this, we're all, you know, when I say pretty smart, don't laugh at me because you <laughs> say I'm not. But we can all handle ourselves yeah. in a debate type situation. I think the people on that show could not. And I, I've been there when I've seen guests wound up. I've mm. been there when I see what they do. And, you know, people... The, the, one of the boss's excuses is that people go on these shows willingly. You know, think about it. These guys are... They're offered a fee. They're, they're put up in a hotel for a night. They're given all the, the foos and boos, the, the food and boos they can manage. And then they're wheeled on the next day and wound up before they go on. And I, I do think it's... I think it's exploitation in its purest when, form. When you say you've been there, have, I'm just really curious. Have you actually been there when they're filming or have you seen yeah. it? And And... What did you think about the whole experience? I, I thought I, I saw what they did to get the reaction that they wanted. Because from I've people. I've read producers who worked on the show yes. saying they were actually told to fire yes. people up and yes. get them kind of worked up into a state before they yeah. went on air. And that is true. Be, that is true. You, you know, did it's a in... bit dismissive. Carol. You can't say that every single person is doing that. So, and I let's, didn't say let's that. just but let's said... point, they have done some good work. Some people some people have been sent on courses and they've beaten drug addiction. Some people have been beaten alcohol. It's very easy for us mm. to sit around. And there's a few points. Imagine these aren't working classes. Mm. Most of these people aren't working. Yes, that's that's one of the points. The Sadly, yeah. they probably live their lives yeah. on benefits. Yeah. Hold on, just give me just give I me mean, one from second. a class uh, issue. It, well, not necessarily strictly that, working. I think that's not, offensive you know. to the working class oh, yeah. because they yeah. actually yes, go out and do would. a job. <laughs> they don't sit around yeah. wearing tracksuits yeah. trying to punch each other. Yeah. What fascinated me and what I did on my radio mm. show because very as I say, yeah. we can all sit around, isn't it awful? Isn't it? it was a tremendous product of its time. It probably went too far. These things typically do. But what fascinated me and well, you touched on this, and I'd be interested in you and indeed Apple. Why are all the people who are shouting, you slept with my mother and we're going to raise the baby, or, or I, I've defecated in your fridge and I've changed that? Why are they all white? Mm. And that's mm. what I talked about on the radio. Mm. They're all, nearly always, is? white. Why do you think that is? Because I yeah. think possibly, and it sickens me, mm. that this government that is presiding over the NHS in probably the most parlous state, terrible problems with probation, which we're going to hear later today, mm. terrible problems with kids stabbing each other. Mm. They have a parliamentary committee now to investigate the production of reality TV. Do they not realise? And I am, a, by the way, a supporter of austerity measures. Mm. Some of the policies they've introduced have caused people to take their lives mm. or lose their lives. Mm. You've got killers on the streets because of the damn stupid... Stuff, but, and now they've got an inquiry into that. But, but surely the thing about... Kyle was the extreme. 
I think. Yes. And, and over the years, has become more extreme. Yes. Mm. If you look back to the reality shows that won before Kyle, things like The Time and The Place, and the rest, mm. they were very responsible. Yeah. They did it properly. Yeah. And the rest of it. What's interesting is we've all known Kyle is pushing it. It was inevitable in the end what's happened now was going to happen. Mm. The question is, why didn't any of us say anything about it? Well, well, you worked on it. What, you saw it. Why didn't you say something well, about it? Well, I, I kind of did. I mean, I did a, a show many years ago, and I, I filmed it from the same studios as some of these shows came out of. But, but I think the bottom line is, you know, this, this has been a problem for a long time. You said it, it, it was going to happen. Back in 2008, there was a guest appeared on the show, a guy called Carl Platt, and he was told that the baby he thought was his wasn't. A week later, uh, he put a, a loaded air rifle to his wife's head and actually went to prison for it. Now, that, that something should have been done about the, 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 the tenor of the show back then and it wasn't and as you say Kyle over the years he's become this snarling aggressive spitting person right. who's two inches away from people's faces he's probably a telling them that they're well but he shouldn't yeah. be a performer can, that's can, not can really I just add to uh, answer your question that you yeah. you put to me I think I, I think that among the many reasons you mentioned uh, one of them I think has is, to is be this is why the people normally why usually they, white. why they were yeah. mainly white yeah. I mean that's that was the endearing impression I was left yeah, with whenever absolutely. I used to bunk off school and watch the show right, right. so uh, I think that it that one one actually, what, among the many reasons you mentioned, one of them is that I think that it's the last demographic in this country at whom it's acceptable to mock. Um, and that's whether you call them working yeah. classes or unemployed that's white interesting. working classes. That's a good you point. You know, it, it's actually the last remaining demographic and that people are, feel comfortable sneering at, and I think it's disgusting. Um, can I just tell you some things that have actually been said about the show? Because you mentioned, Carol, cases that yeah. have come out of it. So in 2009, a judge said, the Jeremy Carl show seems to have fed your insecurities. This is speaking to a man who attacked his girlfriend after she failed a lie detector test. Mm -hmm. There, there is plainly an element of cruelty and exploitation in what takes place. Then in 2007, a judge said, it is a human form of bear baiting yeah. which goes under the guise of entertainment. Mm. The people responsible for this, namely the producers, should, in my opinion, be in the dock with you. And in 2014, this is Ofcom language, the degree of humiliation and distress displayed by the guest exceeded the more typical editorial content of the programme. I mean, I basically agree with everything that's being said, but, Greg, you know, you said that Jeremy Cole's the extreme. It was the most watched thing on ITV. So it's daytime. Daytime, daytime. daytime. Daytime program on ITV. Should we so give people no. that? Because, it's, because no. they want it. I don't think so. I agree, and yeah, I, I, bad, I would yeah, like to curation. see this conversation yeah. broaden out to other shows, including we, Love Island. I'm saying well, that I, I think I, broadcasters I, do have Before we move on, guys, before we move on, because Love Island was mentioned, we have to... Uh, we have to mention, they've said that uh, we will be delivering bespoke training to all future islanders to include social media and financial management. The key focus will be for us to no longer be reliant on the islanders asking uh, us for support, but for us to proactively check in with them on a regular basis. You talked about the producer, or the judge talked about the producers. I mean, it's quite interesting, the people who worked on this, they are not people who are somehow evil or no, wrong. No, they're Absolutely. not. What they are, they're they've not. got a Absolutely job. Wrong. And yeah. year by year by year by year, they've been pushed. And yeah. so there's someone saying, you know, I mean, as you understand, they say to people, listen to what he's just said to you. You're going on a minute. But Greg, you know better than I. And the numbers tick up, so what are you going to do? You're going to do more of it. It's the same with running a newspaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you put some, whatever, exactly. showbiz on the front yeah. page, you sell more copies, yeah. you put so more showbiz on the front this page. Is why, this yeah. is why broadcasters have it's to have responsibility. To you know, you said that they encourage people. You know, there are reasons why people go on the show. There is a context, right, where if you have an addiction problem or a mental health problem, your, your access to public services is less than it used to be. Mm. You're targeting deliberately, and producers have spoken about this, deliberately targeting people in areas where they don't have access Let's to other it. forms of help. I must so tell you it's the not a fair context. Text. This is what ITV is. says about the producers and the production team. The Jeremy Carr show has significant and detailed duty of care processes in place for contributors pre, during and post show, which have been built up over 14 years. After filming has ended, all guests are seen by a member of the guest welfare team to ensure they're feeling calm and emotionally settled before any participant leaves to travel home. And on the ending of the show, the CEO of ITV, Caroline McCall, says, given the gravity of recent events, we've decided to end production of The Jeremy Carr Show. The Jeremy Carr Show has had a loyal audience, has been made by a dedicated production team for 14 years, but now is the right time for the show to end. Everyone at ITV's thoughts and sympathies are with the family and friends of Steve Diamond, the man who mm. took his life.